has come to our family. Well, welcome back to the darkest dungeon. This is it. This is it. I'm Sam. Trey T. And this has been a long haul, but this is the fruition of all of our labor. And I'm simply going to say it. You're surprised? We gonna die. No. <laughs> we gonna die. Super die. No. This I mean, dead. super fly die is what we're gonna do. Nope. Uh, I do not. I appreciate your enthusiasm and your forward thinking. But I saw how many hit points we have coming at us in just a few minutes. And I don't know that we can weather all that. We got it. Okay. We got this. As okay. my shirt says, the way is lit. See? <laughs> yeah. Got my Darkest Dungeon shirt on. Oh, here we go. The way is lit. He's got his rally cap on, folks. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, so we just got through defeating the Shuffling Horror. Now, I also read that the rule is now that the boss previous... No longer puts... I don't think that's a thing now anyway because the... Um, uh, this is like a special trip to the Hamlet. We're not even... Yep, this it's, is a it's special not even trip real to thing. the Hamlet. But yep. I did find out through some people that responded that yep. the way the rules are now is that when, after you defeat the guy, he doesn't... Your negative effects stop. Put that happen. negative yeah. effect yeah. in the Hyman anymore. So there's okay. that. But this is different. This is different. I don't even think that Shoveling Horror had any negative Hamlet no. thingies because he's a he's that no, boss. Uh, one time Darkest Dungeon yeah, Darkest so. Dungeon thingy bossy yep. thingy. All right, well we are well bloodied. Well, at least my high, my half of the board is I'm well a little bloodied. crazy, but I'm okay. Uh, Crusader is just a punching bag. He's got 26 health. Um, the Bounty Hunter who has replaced the uh, uh, the the foregone highwayman, mm -hmm. um, which you already know about, so we can talk about it. Now deceased. Um, he only has one hit point. Grave Robber has what? Three. Three. Three damage. And the vessel has one. Yeah. Well, we can. We definitely can tell who's been. Uh, um, in the back. In the back. Doing yes. the work. Yeah. <laughs> we know who's been in the back in doing the, back. the work. Doing all the work. Mm -hmm. Um, but. You've been able to be doing all that work because we're sucking up all the hits in the front. Yep. But that's how it's supposed to work anyway. That's how it's supposed to work. So. All right, so we are back in the hamlet, and then we're going to be going into the the final room. We don't even have to go through a dungeon no, anymore. We just got We just got to fight all the bad dudes. Yeah. All the bad leader guys. The heart of darkness. So we have got no less than 63 gold uh, to spend in... Four days. Four so why don't, days. why don't you go ahead and um, uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and explain how how this special Hamlet phase works then? Yep. So at the very end, we've completed. We fought the first monster in the darkest dungeon. We are now at the doorstep of the Heart of Darkness, who we have found out is the ancestor of the owners of the Hamlet. He's gone down. He's created all this. Um, and now we have to defeat him. Um, he is a multi-form boss battle. Um, and depending on which boss you fight before that, the Shuffling Horror 
was the boss we fought before that. He takes out the second of four forms. So there's four forms. You're only going to fight three, and that depends on who you fight. So we're going to fight the first form, the third form, and the fourth form. Hold on. The ancestor set us up? The ancestor set us up. Dad, creep! No, he's an ancestor. He's like... That's, he's been doing this for hundreds of years, probably. That ain't, that ain't right. I feel so, like... I feel like... So his great-great-grandson set us up. I feel like... The mystery crew <laughs> pulling off the mask, uh -huh. and there's old man Winters, or whatever you want to call it, and he's like, And I would have got rid of it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. It wasn't for that crusader. <laughs> no. Yep, so we have no special modifiers in town. We have four days to spend all of our money. We're going to go straight into the boss room. Okay. We're going to go to the ancestor's domain and try to finish him off. Cool beans. So we have four days to do whatever we can do. Uh, first thing again, I got to get rid of my affliction. Yep. Flip this little guy back over. Hopefully we don't get another one of those. But <laughs> um, and by doing that, I get a negative quirk. Yep. So that gets rid of my bad gambler since or my skilled gambler since I have now three negative quirks. Ooh. Uh, for those of you who remember, the fourth negative quirk would make her insane and she would be out of the game. So. We need to... Uh, so she's good. Yeah, I need what to get rid of those. Yeah, she's not quite as good as you might <laughs> suggest. Um, not to mention that my Vestal is bulimic. So... Well, uh, I mean... Don't even say it. I'm not going to say nothing. She's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Every time was, she eats, she's going to eat more food and mm -hmm. be more stressed. Okay, well... So we might want to fix that too. Okay. But we've got some health problems. <laughs> got serious health problems. we got a night blind nocturnal... Stress eater. She's she's night she's blind. She's night nocturnal. Can't see for nothing at nope. night, and she stress eats. That's correct. Hmm. All right. Uh, a lot of midnight snacks over there yeah, for the. And I got problem. a clumsy vestal with quick reflexes. Okay. So <laughs> it's, at least you, she, you just can't write this stuff. You can't make herself. this up. She's a, there you go. Like All right. Cat. She always falls on her feet. All right, so day one, what are we going to do here? Um, you need to get rid of those. I need to get rid of this. Um, but you need some heals. Negative quirks. I need some heals, too. So why don't I just go ahead and... Well, first of all, do we want to upgrade anything? If we do, it would be the sanitarium. It would be the sanitarium, What's that right? going to give you on a heal if we spend... Uh, I think it's 14 We would have to spend three? 20 just to upgrade four hit points. I just don't... I don't think it's worth it. You don't... Oh, We'd I see. We'd have to spend 20 to upgrade that. Got it. Just so we could spend a little bit more to get four more to heals. To get four more, hit, four, four more yeah. heals, yeah. So it's okay. No, that's, Not out that's of the fine. question, but do I don't want to think... upgrade anything else then. I don't think we really, I don't think we do. We don't want to worry about that. Yeah, oh, Nomad through. Wagon is like, <clears throat> at this point, Blacksmith, we haven't really even gone there the whole time. So mm -hmm. if we're not going to upgrade that, we're probably not going to upgrade anything, yeah. Nope. Right. Okay. All right. Well, Crusader is definitely going to go to the sanitarium and heal 10 for 3. So we'll go ahead and do that. Right on. Um, I will send her over here. Oh, before we do that, we still have oh, we this young see. man. That oh, no. He's Please gonna go don't. He's going to go hang out with the. Oh, that was two. so close. He doesn't want us to have any survivalists. Here, but, yeah. yeah. All right. So you can do your thing. All right. Cool. And I can remove two negative quirks. Um. Probably both of these light related ones. Mm -hmm. And that's five. Okay. 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 All right, so we're at 55 now. Mm -hmm. We've um, got some stress heal if we need it. We've got some leveling up if we need it. I um, think you want to level up your Vestal again? Maybe get some. I have Divine Comfort 3. Divine Grace 3 would be really helpful. Divine Grace 3 may be really helpful. What do I need for that? I need uh, two experience points. So I have five experience points total. So truly, mm -hmm. I could upgrade two skills. So why don't I do that? I'll upgrade two skills. That'll leave me with one experience point. Okay. That'll put her... And uh, four gold. Four bucks. And I'll figure out how to level her up. All right. So, just make sure that you say it out loud. Got it. So I can... Well, we'll do Divine Grace 3. That's a good idea. 
but I think I'm also going to focus on, oh, she already has Divine Grace 3. Remember, there's a typo. It's a 2. This is 3. Got so it. So it is already leveled up to 3. I got it, got it, got it. Sorry. Prototype, That's everyone. Okay. That's <laughs> all right. Prototype. Um, but I do believe, in looking ahead, that the Still Ancestor it, right? likes to affect the torch a lot. So Ooh. I'm going to get that illumination. work on some of that illumination. I doubt I can stun him. Um... I doubt I can, well, I can debuff him, but I can't stun any of these guys, so. All right, well, I'll work on that, and I'll let you know what hmm. you're going to do over there. Um, I think I'm going to go to the tavern, and I want to uh, pay three to get my stress back down to zip. Um, there's also... I'm actually going to take Illumination up oh, twice. You know what? I don't think this is right. So I'm going to go from Illumination 1 all the way to Illumination 3. I think I put the wrong Tavern out there. This is Tavern 3. Oh, you give us the tavern. tavern 2. Nice. Yeah, the Tavern 3 is awesome. We should have upgraded it. We'll take it. We got a little money. Yeah, Tavern 3 allows you to go heal. Ooh. That might be... I mean, we don't really need it now. It's Tavern guess, 2. Give us... Tavern 2 only remember. gives us stress healing. Stress relief. Tavern 3 gives us all of that. Gives us all the stress healing and all the mm -hmm. sanitarium. You don't even need the sanitarium anymore. Just burn it down. <laughs> We're trying to fix the hamlet, not destroy it. <laughs> this is true. Burn it um, down. Bounty Hunter's just going to go over here and uh, uh, drink away some of his stress. Right so uh, we'll go with seven back. Day one was partially eventful. Okay. And day two, he doesn't want to go to the same spot twice, so eight. he wants to go to eight. He's going to go over to the blacksmith, which we never did upgrade or take advantage of. Right. We will take, even though we're not going through a dungeon, we are going to take provisions with us to help us in the battle. So yeah. buying provisions isn't completely out of the question. Cool. Um, I would like to get rid of a disease, unless you need to get rid of... Oh, that's your healing spot, though. Well, here's the thing. We still got... If we spend 20 and upgrade the tavern, we got two healing spots. And two disease removal spots. But I don't know. We only need that's, to get rid of that's one gonna disease. That's down. a lot of money. That's going to knock us down to... Well, you, you heal for now. Eight going to knock us down we to still have two more bucks. days, or three days. Yeah. So if you get two heals out of it, and I get one, as long as the he doesn't block it, it's a thing. So you heal first. You sure you don't want to upgrade the tavern? If you can. You can if you want. I mean, I, it, it'll let's also, it. it'll also help, help us. It'll also help us all right, let's in case it. he blocks one of them. He yep. can't block both. That's true. So, let's do it. All right. Let's see what we got left. We'll, we'll also... Oof. Twenty dollars. 20 bucks. 20 gold. I think I it's... I think it's dollars. I think it might be a little bit more than... A little bit of bullion. <laughs> Chicken what bullion. Did, what did I do with it? Oh, I put it away. Dumb. <laughs> I don't want this. Okay, this has to go Stop. here. This goes here. Okay. Uh, upgrading the tavern to... Tavern 3. The amazing. Wow. That is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's a huge upgrade. Why didn't we do that first? Okay. Because so I'm going to take dumb. her there to spend two. All right. Get rid of this bulimic. Uh, yep, two to remove the disease. That is correct. All right. Now, what does that gentleman want to do? Um, I'm thinking about uh, sending both of my guys to the guild at some point. To, uh, okay, we well, might as well send him there now. now. Now? Okay. I will just go over here and buy two provision dice. Okay. Um, so that cost me three. And then oh, you know what? I can only spend. upgrade... Let me see. I can only upgrade one of his cards. So it's going to cost me two experience and two bucks to do that. So... Because we used up all the experience points he had before. Yep, yep. Okay, him's prepped. Yep, yep, yep. So... Okay. I'll look at that in just a minute if we're ready. All right, we are ready. All right, we're halfway through our vacation. <laughs> we got twenty-one bucks left. <laughs> we got twenty-one dollars left, and we're Ten. heading to our doom. He's back to his friends at the mm -hmm. Nomad Wagon. Yep. 
back with the gypsies. All right. All right. So I don't have a disease anymore. Good with the trinkets. I am going to use the Vestal's self one here. It will reduce the stress of one for everybody. Yeah. And it'll get everybody a buff of three for three turns. Cool. To start the next round. So, one for you. And then one for the other you. And one for her. So she'll do that for this turn. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, Give us a head start. Should I get rid of this negative pork? We grip you could. To the Abbey? Are you going to heal him one more time or are you going to leave him where, where he sits? Is well, okay I, I think I think six isn't we bad. We do have options. You're right. It isn't bad. Because um, he can heal level himself. Up too. He can heal himself. He wants to level up so as well. Why don't you level up now level. just in case? I want to get uh, Holy Lance. In case it gets covered. I want to get Holy Lance upgraded. Yep. So and we're all level three. We'll do right? that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe even how much? How much do I have? So you got four. You can do two skills. Oh, eight. you got a bunch. I got eight. But you can only do two, two this time. So I can do, I can do four though and get two cards up, right? Yes. Yeah. And four dollars. Four and gold. And four gold, do we have it? Yeah. Yep, I just took it. Nope, I just oh, took it. Oh, you just did it. Okay. Yep. Right, 17 so left. We're doing good. Here. And so I'm going to be able to upgrade. I think I'm going to upgrade um, Stunning Blow and Holy Lance. Those are the two. Nice. Because I use, I use those. I'm, I, I want to start him off to where I can use it, use Holy Lance right off, right off the bat. Okay. Um, hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully. Yeah. But. Yeah. Alright, so you're taking up Stunning Blow and Holy Lance? Yep, yep, yep. Stunning Blow 3, Holy Lance 2. Right. Anything he, specific that he wants to do? Well, he's, uh, to, today, um, not, not really. He's pretty much good to go. Uh, I'll, I'll probably send him to go get some more provisions, if nobody else does, because... He's only got one damage, yeah. and... Well, I might as well kind of top everybody off, so I think I'm just going to take her here to heal up these three for one gold. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to do provisions, that's three more bucks for two more dice. All right, so I got my uh, Bounty Hunter, and um, Bounty Hunter went up to uh, Caltrips 3, from Caltrips 2, so you can see the difference right here. And then uh, the next day, the Crusader went out, and he upgraded Holy Lance 2, and Stunning Blow to 3, from 2 to 3. So Holy Lance from 1 to 2, and then Stunning Blow from 2 to 3. So that's what uh, they did. And now we're set to continue. With the other three? Yep, yeah. yep. She's only down one... When she takes damage, she takes a debuff. I might... I don't know. Is there anything specific he wants to do left? Um, I could remove a quirk from either one of mine. Okay, well, why don't you do that, and I'll just spend a buck and, and heal my last okay. point of damage over I'll here. Take one, take two away from me, too, for removing Clumsy. Two away. And then that removes that. And then for her, just use some more... She doesn't have any stress, she doesn't have any damage. Provisions. So three more for two more provisions. Three bucks. We might as well provision up. Yeah. And this is it. This is our last day of vacation. Last day of vacay. Um, I think I'm gonna send um We might as well heal him, right? What's Can that? we? No, not really. Let's see. Two Met. We'll wah, 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 wah. No more provisions. That's it, we're provisioned out. Dag gum it. Go block the general store. Yep. Um I think well, I might as well send her over to level up one more time. So yep. that's two experience. And two dollars, please. Yep. These are yours. Two bucks. Two and uh 
Man, we we is out of cash, bruh. I'm gonna just do pick to the face three. Pick to the face. Um, man alive, that's what he was gonna do, man. He was gonna go purchase some more stuff, but he can't do that anymore. And there's nothing really else to do. No, oh, sir. Because he's he's good on health. He's good on stress. What's his special ability? It's, it's useless. Oh. Reveal the room in the next dungeon. We don't nice. have the next dungeon, so... No dungeons. Um, we'll be he's revealing just, He's just going to be enough. twiddling his thumbs. Yeah. Uh, this guy, should I... Oh, no, we don't have enough to buy a trinket. Yeah. Should we... Heal buy him a... or remove this negative court? You might as well remove the negative. Yeah, because um, that's something you can't get rid of, right? Yeah. We can we can manage his health in the in the in, in the fight, but we can't get that's rid of this stress when you. Yep. So, remove one quarter. That's two bucks. So. Okay. So what's that leave us with? Three. Three. Yep. Nothing else really to do. Then I can heal her by spending one of those since we don't need it. And uh, that is the end. The healer just went and paid to get healed. Yeah, why not? Um, that's front lines, headlines on tomorrow's newspaper, brother. Uh huh. Scandal. Scandal. We'll see if they're alive tomorrow <laughs> to have a newspaper. <laughs> if we don't win, the Hamlet gets destroyed. In right? That's what, these people should be doing this fire. for free. Yeah, I know. We shouldn't be having to spend our money to this. Nope. Anyway, Volcano why did I have this? Of... I don't think I got this. You did. I did? Yep, you bought two. I did. Yes. But I thought earlier. I was going to send him... You did that earlier. I did. Yes. I knew that. Okay. All right. Two bucks we got here. Two bucks to go home with. Uh-huh. If we go home. No, we'll leave that in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> this is... There ain't no bank over here. This is inheritance for our children. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right, let's Into do it. the fight. Ancestor. Okay. We're going straight in. Bring it. Right now he looks like a nice gentleman. Oh. Yep. The way the ancestor works is he will continue to make clones of himself. Although they're not clones that you would expect. They are reflections, either imperfect or perfect reflections. Um, he is going to start with his 50 hit points. Here in the aggressive stance. And what he likes to do is drop the torch, do a little bit of damage, and summon more guys. Um, do a little bit of damage. What was this one? Do a little bit of damage. Um, make everybody stressed out. Hmm. And summon more guys. And then if he's got if he's all full of reflections, he just plans on healing them up as much as possible. Now the trick is. We cannot damage him unless all the reflections are off the board. Say what? Yep, we cannot do any so damage to him. So we gotta knock out his reflections first. Mm-hmm. Man. And all he's gonna do is continue to summon them the whole time. It's that scene from Conan the Destroyers. Yep. We've gotta destroy all the mirrors. We have to destroy, oh yeah, the mirrors. <laughs> and when the mirrors just keep coming back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we are prototype. So we have an imperfect reflect reflection and we have a perfect reflection card uh, we don't have three of each and he can summon whatever he'd like so we have substituted in a couple of placeholders but they will be imperfect reflections or perfect reflections as we go there we go all right so we are going to start with two imperfects hmm. so the trick is every time we kill an imperfect reflection we do 10 damage to him oh okay okay so we got to kill these guys Perfect reflections, doesn't matter. We can kill them all day long. We don't hurt him. Oh. So, correct. Dang. So let me make sure. I think it's two... Two perfect start. Okay. So we have two perfect reflections. One imperfect. If we kill this, we'll do ten damage to him. And like I said, all he wants to do is continue to summon them over and over and over again. And keep them healed up. Okay. Man alive. This okay. is... We're going to start out with a perfect reflection, and they are not that pretty, um, but uh, <laughs> a 
Perfect reflection. Look at that guy. Wow, exactly. that's nasty looking. And we got an imperfect reflection. So we're getting a sneak peek of what he's going to look like later. Right now he looks like a sweet little dude. Just well, I don't chilling. Know. He's, he doesn't look that sweet. All right. And this will be our last perfect reflection. And uh, that'll be this young gentleman here. All right. So, and to mark those guys, we will put a... Will you put an armor on that guy, please? Uh, armor on that dude down there? This one and that one. Okay. And they have... Imperfects have 19 hit points. Perfects have 24 hit points. So, so this is... These are both perfects. That's the those, That's correct. Wow. So the one that's ripped in half is the one we really want to take out. Because that'll do 10 damage, 10 to, damage him to him when we knock it out. When we knock it out. And it's got less hit points. Yep. But there is possibility of him summoning just perfects in its place. So. Oh, no. <laughs> That's, this is... Stage one. We're going to die. All right. No, no. We got this. Uh, okay. All right. Here I'm we gonna, go. I'm going to trust you. That's oh, what? wait a minute. What? We got to roll provisions. Oh, man. I told you. Look at you just rushing just in the battle. Set that stuff wherever we like. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got some stuff. We got food. I got more stuff. Food. These shovels are worthless. I got three torches. As far as I man. know. Nice. I got an antivenom shovel. I got two this of those. This is a good spot for us. Yeah, more torches. So. Food is good for us. Food, food, food. So I will maybe two bandages, huh? I wonder if these guys bleed us at all. Uh, I don't know. I'll do a bandage. Food will heal us. Mm -hmm. um, without without spoiling, we'll do two bandages. Just to see how it turns out. Because we don't know this dude. We just met him. I don't want to meet anymore. <laughs> Alright. I want to go home. We got our provisions. You ready to fight now? Yeah, let's fight. Alright, let's do a torch. You ready too. to go. Torch. Light is level 5. Okay. Okay. Where do we start at? All right, it's his turn. So on his turn, everything is full. He is going to try to heal the closest enemy that's damaged. So he's None not going to do heal. anything today. He's not going to do anything right now. No. Nope. All right, that's cool. Second enemy is going to go. Man. Bring him closer. Bring him closer. All right. So, aggressive stance. No. He wants to do a we are the same. <laughs> we are the same, buddy, against the most stressed, which just happens to be the Vestal. I have one. I have oh, three. you got three. I got three. Oh, no. He's going against the most stressed, so he wants a range of two. His movement is two. That is this guy, so he wants range of two, so we need to move him away. Mm. But still have line of sight. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, crit chance is 1, we have an extra dodge, so his accuracy is 12 minus 3, so his accuracy is 9, crit chance 1. Alright, well, <laughs> I'll take That's it. That's not a good way to start rolling. 2 damage, 2 stress. 2 damage, 2 stress, you got it? Yep, got it. Okay. I like stress and damage. <laughs> Alright. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is first. Bounty Hunter. First to draw blood. Um, let's see. And how are these guys with immunities and all that? They are resistant to stun and being pushed or pulled. And that's it. Um, the boss is immune to stun. Um, they have resistances, excuse me, to stun mm -hmm. and push or pull. Got the it. boss is immune to stun, blight, bleed, and debuff. So I can bleed this guy out. Are any of them unholy? doesn't matter with him, but I do want to know. They are Eldritch. All yeah, of them are Eldritch. That's stupid. Okay. Mm-hmm-hmm. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and do... Um, this is the guy... These are the guys that have uh, 24 damage, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're pretty nasty. So what we'll do is... Uh, I'm going to do uh, Caltrips... Zero to one, finish him. I'll do Caltrips first. Range of two. Range of two. Has to be range of two? Yep. Only, no window? That's right. Correct. So I could do Caltrips two on him. Yep, but you can't hurt him. 
not with the bleed. Oh, can't hurt him be before all these things are out. Yep. I got it. It's just processing. It's, it, you know, the little wheel's turning. This guy is mm. not easy. No, he is not. It's not easy at eight all. Eight tall. Eight tall. Can he be stunned? They are resistant to stun. Mm -hmm. And all I have is ones on that, so that's yep. not good. All right, well, we're just going to have to go. Uh, we're going to do... Um, we're going to do a... Uh, I'm going to try to do a uh, Mark for Death right on. on one of these. Mark for Death on one of them. I'm going to try it. I don't know how it's going to work. It's accuracy 10. Uh, his, so it's an 8 accuracy. So it nice. works. So that gives us 3 um, marked, for marked three and debuff for 2. Okay. Uh, that goes on him. And then he Which gives... One is that? That is this gentleman here. Yeah. And then he gives himself a buff for two turns, but I have to get rid of this. So I need to uh, give me one more buff. Yeah. Let's stack it. Stack. Got it. Okay. Wrong and character. then I knew that. So, Wrong character. For Shader Dark. All right, so that happens. So now he's marked. And I'm going to follow up with a, uh, uh, finish him, which is 0 to 1. And it's accuracy 11, so it's a 9. 9. Um, but... Crit chance 3. He gets crit chance 3. 1, 2... No, you already used one of those. It's still same turn. You Got don't it. have to take another one. Okay. So these all stay... No, that one would be built. You would this lose one, one of those. Okay, yeah. the one from the new one. Because you're still happen. using the action. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so it's crit chance one, two, three, yep. and accuracy nine. That's there a crit. It is. So that's sixteen damage. That is a good start. Um, and he has twenty-four total. Yes. That's it. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, Crusader's turn. All right, Crusader was not able to do what he wanted to do. <laughs> nope. Because everybody too far away. No. -uh. He's only one space. He's only one space away. Mm -hmm. Look at you. All right. Holy Lance to open up. Hercules, Hercules. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I put him in the wrong space. What? Crud! I should have. I had. I, I. I. I would have started him here. I didn't look at my card. You meant to start him there. I meant. To I mean, this. it's Grave Robber's turn. Okay, go ahead. Grave Robber. No, no, I'm just kidding. All right. So these guys. What do we say? They are blight and bleeder. Okay on them, just not on the boss. Correct. And she is on the wrong side to do any damage to this guy, unfortunately. So the question is, are we trying to take them out, or are we trying to get over there? Well, if we if we one, knock him two. out, it's possible that an imperfect comes back. An imperfect back. comes back, that's right. So I say we go ahead and try to knock him out okay. until we can get to this guy and start pounding on him. Okay. All right. Just try to get him off the board. Yeah. That guy hasn't gone yet either, right? No, he is not. So he's marked. Right. All right. Well, I'm going to poison dagger him then. So, crit chance, three. No, wait. This guy has gone, yes. This guy has not. This guy has that gone. That guy has gone. Yes. But this guy has 24 hit points. Yep. I can't do that in a round. So, unless unless I hit him, hoping that the crusader goes before him. Which I might. Um, this guy has... Eight hit point, yeah, or that guy has eight hit points. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay. Okay, so crit chance is three. Accuracy is 12, so accuracy is 10. Can't miss this one. 
<laughs> never say never, but <laughs> I hit. Okay, so that's three damage plus four blight for three turns. I got the damage. You do the blight. Got it right here. Three damage. The last guy. Here. Yep. And then I will do the old trusty dagger. Still crit chance three. Accuracy is nine. Yes. There's a crit. Fifteen. So that is 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 damage, yes. He's up to 18. Out of 24? Yeah. So he won't quite die on his turn. No, he won't. All right, well, that's your turn. Alrighty. All right. Well, this guy's going to go next. Mm -hmm. So can you read that? Yep, uh, I can. Oh. What is it? An eight. Eight. So it's a number two. <laughs> we are the same, he says. Not, Most not. stressed has to be two away. She is. She is. So this uh, the the back Vestal on the Vestal. is in trouble. So accuracy 12, crit zero. Okay, so she's got two dodge plus one. So accuracy is nine. nine. Crit zero. Roll that 10. No, you five. rolled a five. Okay. All right, so that's two damage on her. Got it. You got it? Yep. And plus one stress. Okay, we don't like stressing out here. <laughs> you just said. Come on now. You want stress. Mm -hmm. You like stress. I lied. <laughs> okay. All right, Crusader's so Crusader, turn. he's going to try to open up a can on this guy over here. Um, so he's going to do Holy Lance, which is accuracy 10. So it's an 8. Uh, crit chance, 2. So that's a hit. So that's nine damage on that guy. Which will kill him. Pulls him in. Pulls him forward two. Uh, one. One. Yeah, pull one. Okay. And so that one's out. Yeah. Although I think we'll see him again. But that's a good idea to make more chances for an imperfect. Um, his next, that was one move, that was mm -hmm. one action, so his next action is going to be to battle heal, because he still had some, I don't have any. Let the Vestal come here, yeah, maybe it's, well, I don't know, happy that. I could do zealous accusation over here, guy. could do zealous accusation on this guy, But um, or you can try to get closer to this one so we can get another 10 hit points damage. Yeah, he only moves one, so I could just Oh, he only here. moves one. Yeah. He's got a speed stone, but... Oh, he does! <gasps> I could come up here. I'll do it. I'll just move for my next action. And I'll say, boom, boom. Use that speed stone. Yeah, we're really going to have to work these guys, I think, so... Okay, so those three have already gone. Mm hmm. Why do I have two cards left? Who went so far? One, two, one, two, three, four. All three of them have gone. Why do I have two cards left? I got an extra card in here. I got an yeah, extra. That's probably my fault. I got an extra us in here. We got a fifth. We got a fifth player helping. All right. So then that means. He's going to see that there's not enough people on the board. So he is going to want to do a imperfect reflection. So he's going to attack the most stressed at a range of one. Mm -hmm. Yep, most stressed at a range of one. So he's going to go here. Mm -hmm. And attack her again. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Crit chance one, accuracy modified nine. Yeah, they want the Vestal. So that's damage two, plus two stress, and an imperfect reflection is going to join. And that's your damage. You do your stress. And imperfect reflection. Yeah. So that's going to be this guy, and he is going to join in that position. So, nope, yep. 
Okay, well we have two imperfects on the board now. We have a Vestal that's going to go crazy. Just saying. There's nothing we can do to help her get that down, is it? I don't think so. She can drink these. Uh, that lowers That stress? lowers stress, yes. I she can drink those. Then. That lowers stress. It's her turn. We're not going to lower it a lot. She can only I'll drink one. Mm -hmm. Do that. Get it down a little bit. She is then going to... We're not worried about heels just yet. Heels on herself. She's at seven. She can do a judgment at the range of two. This guy's not hurt yet. Mm -mm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I think she will. She's going to do a judgment at a range of two with this guy. Okay. Accuracy is 10, so accuracy is 8, crit chance 2. Okay, so that's a hit for 5 damage, and she heals 3. How much damage was that? Five. Got it. That's on this dude over here. The middle one. No, no the middle yep. one. Okay, so that's the first action. Her second action, so we cannot stun. I don't need to raise the torch right now, but I can debuff. Can I debuff those guys we said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter who. Um, I will debuff this guy here, hopefully. So, yeah, and he's already got a debuff on him. Mm -hmm. So accuracy or crit chance is zero. Accuracy is eleven. That'll make crit chance one. Accuracy nine. Got it. Okay, so that's a hit over there for four damage. A debuff for three turns, and our light would go up if for four damage. Four more damage. And then a debuff for three turns. So he's got double debuff now. So it makes it a lot easier to crit against him. Okay, that's her turn. <laughs> Round two, we got three rounds left. At, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't right, man. Oh, what are we going to do about her stress? I don't she know. She needs to crit. Oh, did she? She didn't crit. Well, let's see. So she's got... She's got... The first crit, I mean, the um, negative quirk she takes is gonna get is gonna just add to her quirks down there, right? Huh. No, she's gonna take an affliction. She's Never gonna mind. take I'm an sorry. affliction. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna take affliction very, very soon. Unless we can get her out of harm's way, which doesn't look like that's even possible. No, because they can move around. Yeah. So the whole time the crusader gets beat up, and they come into here in the vessel's turn. So, and he's just over here giggling the whole time. <laughs> Maybe not. He's not giggling. All right, so his turn. He is going to go to the most damaged, which would be the second guy. That's this guy. Mm -hmm. He wants to be at a range of one. He's going to heal him for ten. No. <laughs> he's going to say, don't hurt my reflection, sir. Ah. Uh. That's all he does. You and your pretty little coat. <laughs> right, bounty Hunter's turn. Bounty Hunter's turn is about to go nuts. All right. Um, he's already marked. So he's going to be doing that. So I could do collect bounty on him. That might be what we need to be doing. Or him. Or him. We need we need to we need to kill five imperfect reflections, I think. To have our best chance. Could be wrong. Would be nice to get him out of there, I guess, because he won't hurt uh So I'd have to move over once. And then I can try finish him or collect bounty. Both are 16 with crits, both are 9, so it's basically the same thing. If he was marked, that's why I wanted to hit him. Oh, go a, for it, then. Getting him plus 3. Yep. Plus 3 on him, but... He has 24 health. Yeah. This guy only has 19. Ugh. 
Can you do 14 damage to this guy in a hit? If I crit. If you crit. That's about He's size, got isn't? super crit. I mean, you would have a, a three crit chance. Yeah. Yeah, well, it might be worth it. Try to get that guy out of there. Actually, oh, actually, I have a five crit chance. Five crit chance because it's one, two, three, yeah. four, five, right? Yeah. You want to stay there and do that guy then? On here? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, I can. That's finish him. That's going to be 16. Well, finish him doesn't give me the plus three against target. A collect bounty, I can move in here and uh, do 16 plus three. So that's 19 if I crit. But you only need 14 to kill him. Sure. So you could crit with a... Just stay here? No, uh, you can do whatever you like, obviously. But you could kill him if you get five, one through five. Or zero, yeah, one through five. There's a two. That's a two. So that's 16 and 19 damage. So yeah, so he's dead either That way. knocks him out. Here are those two back. Okay. Was that uh, this, this guy? guy? Mm-hmm. Do these guys move up? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So that's him. Good. That's, good. Good. That's good. his turn. He moved and hit. So. All right. That's the bounty hunter. All right. Crusader's Crusader turn. Crusader is not in the right position to do holy lance, but. 14 damage. 14 damage? Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, we will... These guys are immune to stun? Yeah. No, not immune, but resistant. Resistant, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to do this. And uh, we'll do smite... How much do we need? 14. 14? We'll do smite 3. Smite three. He's got one, two, four, five, six. Um, two plus two plus four, six. Plus four. So I got six crit. Nice. <laughs> six crit. Um, nine accuracy. Nice. Got there him. There it is. Boom. Nineteen damage. Okay. And you heal a stress too. Yeah. Okay, so that is our first first damage on the boss. Yeah. You're one-fifth of the way down, ugly. <laughs> one-fifth of the way down. All right. That's his turn. Okay. So this was... Um, I was already... No, I wasn't. I moved Yeah, in. you moved in. I did. Never mind. All right. So the imperfect reflection is going to do a two. So he's going to do a number one. I don't know if I can read that. I cannot read that. It chooses the closest, which will be bounty hunter. Bounty hunter wants to stay at range one, which is where it's at. Yep. Crit chance zero. Accuracy eleven minus. Four, accuracy seven. That's a ten. That's a ten. Otherwise, it would be marked for two turns and stunned for a turn. I got you, boy. I got your number, you imperfect reflection. Okay, that was his turn. That leaves it to the grave robber. So, how much hit points does he have? Oh, he's full right now. Uh, that guy, yeah, he's... Um... That's the that that's a perfect reflection, right? No, it's an imperfect. This is an imperfect, so he's yeah. got nineteen. We killed the other one. Yeah. Which one did you kill? You killed this one. We didn't take him off the board. That this is this. Oh, guy. that's right. Yeah, you got it. Yep. But he's a imperfect reflection. But he's still an imperfect reflection. Got it. Yep. So the one, that, the one that's damage. split in half is the imperfect. He has nineteen reflection. damage. Nineteen health. Yep. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, so then it's Grave Robber's turn. Man, too bad she couldn't take him out and still hit this guy. She could, might be able to take him out. Alright, well, I'm going to Poison Dart. First and foremost. So 
So poison dart is crit chance three, accuracy ten. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him for three damage. And then his lovely stack of blight. And then throw dagger is crit chance three, accuracy nine. Yes. There's a crit. Oh gosh, I love it when that happens. So it's only that 18, is 18 though. Huh? It's only 18 altogether. 15, one. yep. So I put him at 18. Oh, so he's going to die on his turn. He will. But it didn't kill him. No. Nope. It does suck. Because then when the Vestal comes up. Alright, so this guy's like, whoa, wait a second. I don't have enough reflections on the board. Let's make a new mirror. He's so vain. Zero. He's going to make a imperfect reflection. So well, he's cool. going to attack the most stressed, which he is already doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, crit chance one, accuracy nine against the Vestal. Yes! That is a miss. Miss! <laughs> and if he misses, no, that's on the. He does not get to make his reflection. He, whoa! That's super cool! He's like, wait a second, let me try that again. No, oh really? Yeah. Oh. He's gets, he gets to use all of them up every time. All right. So this time he wants to try a four. Um, four to ten is still the same. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Crit chance one, accuracy nine against the Vestal. Come on, ten. Oh. That time didn't work. Didn't work. Okay, so that is two damage, two stress, and this poor vessel's just stacking it up. But the number two does plus two stress. Yeah. Two damage, two stress, and a new imperfect reflection. Comes out. In the arrow spot. Look at that. So, if I'm understanding you correctly, every time there's an empty space, it doesn't necessarily go to the next person. He fills that up first. Yep. And then when there's an... Well, no, because this he already went. Yeah. And then this guy went... And yeah. so he gets to use whatever initiative yeah, whatever cards are left not to, available. Uh, okay, Nobody's gotcha. using. Understood, understood. Yep. So he's going to do that. He's going to raise a new one. And it's good. It's another imperfect. So so for everybody, one to three, he gets a perfect reflection, which we can't hurt him with. But four to ten, um, there's a much higher chance he gets yeah. the imperfect ones. That's cool. So. All, All right. right. And we know the Vesto gets to go next. So... She is going to just this suck dude down. Is, this dude is freaking tough, man. He's tough. Oh my goodness. He's very tough. Okay. So she doesn't have any speed to like go up and do anything and then and fight back. Mm hmm She can't stun him. What is her movement too? Her movement is two. Come over here. Start wailing on that dude. She could. She can heal. She can. What is she at health wise? I, I'm nervous a little bit about her health. I was okay. in one, two, three, four, five. Um, but first and foremost, she could hit this guy. He can be debuffed. So she's going to hit with an illumination. Actually, she can still hit with a judgment. So crit chance two. Accuracy 8. She's going to cast Judgment on this one. There is a crit. Yes. That helps. That is 10 damage. That is awesome. And a heal That's for on two. the one that just popped up, right? Hmm? That's on the one that just popped up. Yep, and a heal for 3. You get And then... And she heals herself for 3. Because of Judgment. That's because cool. of Judgment. Yeah. yeah. So she did 10 damage to him. He needs 9 more to finish him off. Mm-hmm. Um, she can't do that. Light him up. And she can try, she can just go for the debuff next. Light so she's going to illuminate him. <laughs> you are illuminated, sir. Good chance <laughs> one, accuracy nine. That is a hit. Okay, that was close. So damage is four. Okay. And a debuff for three. So he shouldn't be too hard to finish off. Nope. All right, round two. Two more rounds left to beat him. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh. Don't say that, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
I might use that plus five dodge next time. I mean, I mean to tell you, that is something else. Well, that's a good idea. I can use a plus five dodge and then eat to <laughs> to get my dodge back. Well, we've got 20 more damage just sitting there. Yep. And if we can knock him out, if we can knock them out, if rather. If we could knock them out quick, we might be that able to. That would be 20, and then get to him. Oh, oh man. man, that's so... Yep. This is hard. Here we go. He gets to go first. He says, wait a second. I have a space available. Oh, I need to fix a mirror. Oh, dude. With a perfect reflection. Perfect reflection. And so he wants to do that against the closest. At a range of zero. That's the... That'll be the bounty hunter. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's good. Unless that's probably good. Hit. All right. Crit chance two. Accuracy is... Minus three. Minus four. Minus four. So accuracy is eight. Go ahead. Crit chance two, accuracy eight. Ooh. Dang it. And that is two damage. Weak sauce. Minus one light level. He's putting Ouch. the lights out. And he's bringing out... Perfect reflection. That's a typo. It says imperfect on both. This is a perfect one on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy that. Mental note to we, self. We've been doing it right. Yeah, no, we've been doing it right, yes. Okay. And he comes out in the... Oof. Right there. Okay. Okay, and that was his turn. Now he wants to start healing them. Just saying. No. All right, Bounty Hunter, it's your turn. Bounty Hunter. Yeah, but he, he's not going to be able to heal them. No, it's not his turn for a while. So. Yeah. So well, as soon as we kill one, he'll try to bring one back. Uh, so. This is the dude that's going to die when his turn comes up. Yep. So this is the dude that just got smacked around by the Vestal. Yep. But he's range three. Oh, yeah. He's got... He doesn't have much left he's either. Got two this guy's going to finish him off. Yeah. The, the, the So I should maybe just hit this guy. Crusader's gonna thump that other dude. Okay. So, um, we will rock you. Yep. <laughs> um, we're going to do Mark. Nah. We're gonna do, we're gonna move in. This guy has 24 health, though, right? He does. Yeah. Maybe I should do Mark for Death, then. I don't know. See, the thing... Mark for Death only gives me help on Collect Bounty. So, that's not really helping me much. And the debuff. A little bit of debuff. But you're right. Yeah, I think uh, that's a waste of time. I think Collect Bounty off the bat is better. Because I got a crit chance of 3... 4... Yeah. No, that's not him. Crit chance of three, so that's what I do. I'm gonna come in here and our lights down too, so it is a crit chance of four. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so collect bounty, uh, accuracy eleven minus two. two, so nine. Accuracy nine, crit chance four. Ugh. So that's a hit. So it's a uh, nine damage. Yeah. Um, got any say... singles? I do. He is human. He is? He is an eldritch human. Okay, so that's plus two then, so that's yes, 11. It is. 11 damage. I got it. Okay. And then your... Your bound... Or your this goes token. Away. Yep. Right on. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Crusader's, Crusader's turn. Alright, Crusader is going to do... Going to, uh... Vestal thinks we have this under control. Well, she's she's going a little crazy. <laughs> so, all right. So we're gonna do um, stunning blow or uh, smite three. Either one will do the same damage. So and it's the same accuracy. So it's a crit chance three, accuracy nine. 
And I think I only need to do... Uh, it's a regular hit, but... So that... And that's against 11. this guy? Yeah. 11, so I think that kills him. That kills him. Yeah. And it's uh, this dude right here, right? Yep. So you can give that 10 to the boss. There's 20. Take that back. Okay. Now what would you like to do, sir? Um, that was a smite 3, so I, th I can't get to anybody to do damage on him. So I'm just going to heal. You chicken turtle. Two. You want me to? No, I'm just kidding. You can't move two. You got to use your. Uh... I can only move one. Yeah. No, you're cut. I'm joking. Leave me alone, man. Oh. <laughs> Battle heal is accuracy 14, so I heal three. Yeah. All right. The grave robber gets to go next. So this guy's still going to die on his turn. Yep. Too bad his turn wasn't for the great robber. Mm. That would have been ideal. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to go after the other guy. He's got 11 damage, 2 dodge. He she only needs gonna, 13 more damage left. She's going to throw... Do that wombo combo, bro. She's going to do the wombo combo. Poison dart. Crit chance. 4 now. Accuracy 10. Okay. So there's 3 damage plus the blight. We'll see if we need to put the blight on him or not. He's got three damage. It's 14. He needs 10 more. Mm -hmm. um, throwing daggers. Crit chance. Still four. Accuracy nine. <laughs> All right. So there's a crit. Uh, what is the deal? 15 damage. He's out. <laughs> just crit and over and over and that's again. Just, that's a perfect so the 10 too doesn't go Too bad she's not stressed out. But yep. No damage for him for that. And that's her turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, our buddy dies. So, yeah. So this 10 goes over here. And all this comes back. So now, the Vestal can go whoop up on him. Yes. Maybe. Can sure try. And that was her, that was her whole turn, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's too bad. Oh, look, it's Vesta's <sighs> turn. She's got you for three minutes. <laughs> three so, minutes of playtime. He's immune to any kind of good fun, but she can do judgment on him. Crit chance is three. I am judging you kind, sir. <laughs> um, he ain't kind. <laughs> Stop calling him that. Crit chance three, accuracy. Now his uh, dodge is three. It so is. Crit chance three, accuracy seven. Oh. Okay, so right. that's a hit for five damage. All right, got it. And she heals for three. 35. Okay. And then... Light him up. She can't take the torch back up for us. Keep the torch up, probably. He's like he's immune to the debuff. That's all right. I'm just gonna do it anyways. So crit chances two, accuracy eight on illumination. Yeah. Right, that's a hit for four more damage. Okay. What's that put him at? Forty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty. That's what I meant. Thirty nine. Okay, and he's going to say, whoa, I don't have any people out here to help me. I need a new mirror. I need a new <laughs> reflection. And that is going to be a perfect, perfect reflection. reflection. He's like, I'm going to stop giving you guys stuff to hurt okay. me with. Okay, so he's going to summon a perfect reflection. Defense oh, wait. Well, we got to see if he hits first. Yeah. He's going to attack the closest. Yep, that one's closest. Her. Which no, would be, that would be him. the bounty hunter still. So it's range of zero. See that over there. So he's gonna walk in. Crit chance is two. Accuracy Nine. is eight. eight. So we're back up on the torch. Okay. 
And that's a nine. That's a miss. <laughs> that is no summoning anybody, In your sir. face, you ugly mug. And he says, wait, I gotta do that again. Good thing he's attacking the bounty hunter. because There's bounty an imperfect hunter. reflection now. So there's an imperfect reflection. He wants to go against the most stressed. He wants to be one space away. And he's got plenty of movement. Oh. So he's going to attack her. Crit chance one. Accuracy is nine. Oh, give me a zero. Oh. No. Okay, so he is going to summon the imperfect. He's going to summon an imperfect in the defensive spot. And he's going to do two stress and two damage. Mm. Two damage and stress is climbing. Okay. Man. We need some turns. We just need to knock this dude out. I know. We need some turns. We need to knock this dude out. And that'll give him 49, and somebody just needs to go sneeze on him. Mm hmm That's what we think. Yeah, I know. That's what we need. Yes. That, that's not what we're going to get. All right. We don't want this card. <laughs> and I got a mark. I'm just joking. All right. It's his turn. We didn't want that card either. <laughs> All right. He wants to bring out another imperfect, imperfect. reflection. And he's going after the Vestal again. And he's going after the Vestal again. Accuracy nine, crit chance two. That is three, so we got it. Put this out here. Brings it right over this here. This right there. Oh yeah. Two more stress. Tee him up. Okay, uh oh. That flips her over. Let me shuffle these, cause yep, cause my nasty ones on top. All right, and two more damage. Just hammering on the vestal. And now she is fearful. Again? Yep. She got it back. Crud. So those are both imperfect. I got it there. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. It is Bounty Hunter. Turn. He can't do Nathan. Well, he can. I could come one, two, and smack this dude. And then he can smack this dude on his turn. And then we can do this, man. I'm nervous for the Vestal. <laughs> I mean to tell you. So fearful means if I roll a one and two, I get two more stress. Okay, so should I go one? Okay. I should come over here and smack this guy? Or should I smack this guy? They're both night matters. Yeah. But they're both free up, too. So, retroactively, two things that we didn't do with the Vestal. So I don't want to mess it up too much. Two things we didn't do with the Vestal. When she raised the torch, she's photomania, so she would have dropped her deal by one. So it would be there. But the other thing, I didn't roll to see if I got an affliction or a virtue. Roll it. Well, I don't actually get it, because that would only move me up two. Got it. So, okay, it's going to be next round. But. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Taking care of it. All right. <sighs> I will hit him. Four. With finish him. Which is going to be a... Crit... One. Only one? Yep. That stinks. Crit one, accuracy nine. Crit one, accuracy nine. Oh, it's a hit. Nine damage. Got it? Um, I need one single. Let me give you some. Let me give you some one. I got a single. Hold on. Yeah, just some more ones there. Okay. Okay, and that's your turn? Nine damage, yeah, because I had to move and then hit him. Okay. Crusader's up. Crusader. Hey, hey. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Uh, let's see, we're going to do, um, accuracy 11, we're going to do smite 3 on this dude, okay. so we can, uh, hopefully line it up to kill this guy outright. 
in a little bit. So Smite 3 first, Accuracy 9. Ooh. Still, still good. That's 11 damage, so that knocks him out. Okay. Whoops. That is 10 more to the boss. Yes. And that means we are at 49. One away from killing this dude. Mm -hmm. um, so that was his first. I will... Um, I'm not in the right position to do Holy Lance 2, so I'm going to do Zealous Accusation 2 over here. Um, which is accuracy 8. No crit chance. Missed. That's a miss. Suck. You can't yell at a reflection. I, I can, you definitely. Do it every morning you in the mirror. do it in the mirror every morning. <laughs> so. Alright. So, that is this guy's turn. This is the second card. Yep, yep, yep. He wants to do one, which is number one. Mend the flesh. Mend the flesh. So he wants to do that's his not closest. Mend the flesh. That's got to be rend the yeah, flesh. Yeah, rend right? the flesh probably. That's a that what it weird says. font. Oh, maul the flesh. Gonna read upside down. Or there you have it. We can do there that you go. too. So he wants to do that against the closest. Closest, which is, which is the crusader. The crusader. He wants yeah. to be one space away. Good. He is. Crit chance one. Accuracy ten minus three. Accuracy seven. Ooh wee. Hit him. Okay. So that is 11 damage, and 2 bleed for 3 turns. Are you resistant to bleed, sir? I am not. You just got bit. You got the bleed. 2 bleed for 3 turns. 2 bleed, 3 turns. Okay. He made his presence known. He did. Alright. Grave Robber's turn. He has my attention. She is too far away. Range of one, one, two, she's got three speed. One, two, three. How much does he need damage? 19. Oh, he's completely full. He needs 19, so you can't do your wombo combo. No. That's the only thing that would take him out. But I think I am going to move... Yeah, that's the one I want to take him out. So... Unless I get some crits. So I am going to move up one, two, three. Do I want to do that? No, I probably don't. I'll move up two, and I'm just going to throw a dagger at him. All right. Crit chance two, accuracy nine. Mm -hmm. Got that it. That is a crit. She is crit and fool. That's 12 damage. She just smacking things, man. Oh, that, dagger. No, that would that would still only be eighteen. What's that? If I'd have hit with uh, zealous accusation, it would only be eighteen. But he's so. a perfect, right? Or he's imperfect. He's imperfect. So, yeah, got that's, it. That's what I mean. Twelve damage. Yep. Uh, that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's it for her. All right. The boss says, "I do not have enough reflections in this battle." I want What's another perfect reflection. perfect reflection. She, he wants to attack the closest, which this time will be the grave robber. Mm -hmm. At a range of no, oh, that's be, oh, he's zero. Yep, you're right. You're right. So that is crit chance two, accuracy eight, seven. So that's a hit. So for two damage. This guy's a beast. Yeah, it's an unreal. He's going to drop her torch by one. And he's going to summon in a perfect reflection of himself. Okay. Token. Oh. I'll give you that. Arrow spot. Up here. All right. On to the Vestal. The Vestal. So she is going to try Three. to make this happen. Havoc on that boy. She's right going to do man. judgment on him. Crit Judge chance. Them. Yeah. Crit chance one. Accuracy eight. Yes. Four. That is five damage. And she heals for three. Oh, crap. That's only 17. Only 17. He needs one more, right? Yeah, two more. Oh, two more. 
Okay, we'll bolt it just so she is now going to illuminate. Light that sucker up. So accuracy nine, crit chance zero. Yes. Not a crit, but he is dead. The torch goes up. She gains one because of her photomania. One stress re re reduction. He's toast. And he's toast. And that dude gets another 10 damage. So that dude gets another 10 damage. We're at 59, so he's dead now. He is dead now. Okay. He's dead. Boom. Form one. I imagine of the this ancient. comes away too. Yep. Form one of the ancient is down. Okay, so the ancestor first form, mm -hmm. we smacked him down. Yes. He's done. But now he has morphed into this nasty, gestating heart in the middle of the thing. Everybody else stays there. He kind of goes, bleh, 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 and then goes, Wah! and now he's this big, boom, 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 mm -hmm. in the middle of the. That's just disgusting. That is correct. He comes with uh, a special ability. The gestating heart, however, comes with a gestating ability. Uh, they get one action per round. And Iker, special ability though. Every time uh, a hero deals damage to the gestating heart, they will heal two damage, but then they will suffer a stack of two blight for three turns. That is correct. And uh, the Gestating Heart's ability is that they're going to summon a random Darkest Dungeon monster, which we have cards here ready to go. But... Here we go, he's 100 damage. This thing damage. is 100 damage, and every time we smack him, we get a stack of blood. We just got to do it in one round. That's not going to happen. Way. You know, at, at, uh -huh. one, at some point, your... Uh, positive attitude <laughs> looks we'll a see. little bit like crazy. It's a little crazy. <laughs> I'm on the verge. I'm all right with that. Okay. Oh man, we've made it this far. <coughs> the poor, poor grave robber is like, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Has this giant tentacle pulsating oh, heart that's comes disgusting. from the yeah, that's body disgusting. of? Yeah, she's definitely heaving right now. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's just one card in here for him, so. All right. There it is. <laughs> Start off with a bang. Start off with a bang. That, is, that will add, since we have to spawn a random monster, that will add another one that in there. That will add one in there, and we are going to spawn a polyp. Oh. As the little polyp pops oh, off the side dude. of the gestating heart and flies towards, towards its nearest victim. It comes out of one of the... What do they call those things on the inside of the tentacles? I don't know. But I, I don't want to know. That's disgusting. Okay. And the polyp pops out. It's got uh, 17 health. Is that what it says? Yes, it does. 17 health. Uh, actually, it comes down. Uh, oh, yeah. You're here. right. It's not defensive. It comes up here. Yep. Okay. <sighs> it flies over to the crusader. <laughs> saying, I remember you, sir. <laughs> All right. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter's turn. All right. Um, the Bounty Hunter is not going to waste any time whatsoever. The Gestating Heart is not immune to bleed, so we're going to start um, stacking him up with some bleed with... Oh, uh, has to be at range 2. Which oh, that's a good idea. Over that. It's a really good idea. But I have to be at range two. Yep. So I would have to go. I can't do it. No wait. No, I can't do it because I'd have to be over here. From here. Oh, that's true. One away. That's right. Yeah. One, does he two. fight crowd? Or does he attack crowds? Furthest, closest, he closest. No, he does not. Um. All right, we'll do that, and uh, we'll throw caltrops in there. Uh, accuracy 11, uh, crit 1, so that is going to be... Accuracy oh, he has eight. no dodge. He has a 3 dodge. Oh, he has a 3 dodge, yeah, okay. Accuracy 8. Got it. Nice. So it's only 2 damage, but it does put on there a stack of uh, 3 bleed for 3 turns. Nice. So. 
There's that. You got that. One, so you heal up for two, two and you take two blight for three turns. Oof. I heal for two, so that. Oh, I'm feeling much better. But I smell something. I just got covered in ichor. <laughs> what is this? All what right. does this feel? <laughs> That's his voice, too, I'm pretty sure. All right, Crusader's up. <laughs> what does this feel? <laughs> Crusader. Ah, uh, 17 damage. Okay, we're going to uh, do Smite 3 on this polyp here. That's going to be accuracy 11, 8. Uh, crit 1. So that's a hit. So that's 11 damage. Right on. On the it's polyp. It's not unholy, is it? No, I don't think it is. It's uh, Eldritch... Beast and goes to the back. Okay. But then he's gonna do stunning blow. Accuracy eight, crit one. Nice. So he's dead. He's dead? Yeah, that's another six. <gasps> no, he's not. What was I thinking? Um, but he will be stunned. So uh, he'll be stunned for two turns. So, so six damage. Six more damage, so it's only 17. No, wait, sorry. Yeah, well, he's dead. Duh, what I'm thinking. I was thinking he was 19 like the other guys. No, that we gotcha. just got to do beating. Yeah, fight so, them for an yeah, hour. He's, he's, he's toast. Okay. I'll bring him back in a minute. <laughs> no. Oh. oh no, he's already no, got I'm one turn. Kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. I'm joking. He only has one. Oh. All right. You're stressing me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the gray robber, her range is not good. So she is going to stand underneath this giant beating heart and pick it to the face. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a face. No, hold on, though. What? If she Does attacks it blight? twice, she's going to take blight twice. Well, she can't attack. He's resistant. Uh, yeah, he's, he's resistant, resistant to, to blight. blight. Um, pit to the face is, I mean, overall that's 8, 9, 10, 11 possible. It's, it's almost like you have to do, oh wow. Well, it depends on where you move to, because I can get rid of Blight. Right. So I'm going to pick him to the face. I'm going to pick to the face. I'm not going to pick his he face. He doesn't have a face, though. I'm going to hit that What you part. think is the face. <laughs> I'm going to go mining for a face. <laughs> right. You're going you to find Icker. Crit <laughs> chance saying. one, accuracy eight. Got right. him. That is a hit. Okay, so that is seven damage. Okay. I heal for two, and I take two blight for three turns. And then, I know it's not the greatest thing, but I'm actually going to stay there. I need you guys to get closer, because I can... Remove blight from people. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to buff myself. I'm going to do toxin trickery. I'm yeah. going to buff myself for two and clear this blight off. Good, good, good. So good vibrations. I'm going to stand in there and just fight for a while. <laughs> You're sitting there stabbing the belly and you're drinking a potion. <laughs> drinking a Stab potion. Stab the belly and you drink a potion. <laughs> Wash it off. Wash it off, man. Wash it off. All right. Vestal's turn. Hmm. Our light is good. Should I just attack him? Nobody needs... Oh, you need some pretty good heals. You got... What, you're down 14? Yeah, I'm down 14. I also have a stack of bleed. So I should have lost two more, so I'm at 16, actually. Okay. Because I forgot to do that. All right. Well, I'm going to walk over one, then... I can't get rid of Blight with her, which would be nice to have the ability to do. But I'll walk over one, and I will... She's not hurting that bad. I'll just do Divine Grace on him. Okay. Crit chance three, accuracy is going to hit. So, All right, that seven. is seven. Hmm. Not hugely effective. Well, we don't have another monster in there right now. Well, that's everybody. Okay. We just did what we had to do. 
And we did nine damage in the process and some bleed. That bleed could stack up really heavy on that dude. Mm-hmm. So could blight though. It's just that oh, she's he, sh standing. he should have got three, th uh, three uh, debuffs. Does he well. debuff? Yes, Ooh. he does. I'll take it. Okay. Man. Snapperific. We got this. All right, bounty hunter. Bounty is first. hunter again. All right. Um. So two blight. Yeah. Two blight off. Uh, I'm just gonna make lots of stacks for us over here. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I can clear multiple stacks of blight too. So. It's large, elder. It's okay. I'm thinking about moving two. Only three can fit in our space, so that'll be a full house, too. You want me to do that, or you want me to let, like, it's him come you. in? That's up to you. I should have him come in, but I'll still hit him. Can you can you reach me with toxic uh, One space, yeah. Okay. So, one um, range. I'll go there. And then I will do finish him with collect bin. I'll uh, finish him. So that is nine, eight, uh, no, uh, accuracy eight. Accuracy eight, crit one. Crit one. So okay. that's a hit. That's nine damage. Right on. You heal two and get a new stack. <laughs> Good thing I have this toxin trickery. Yeah, tell me about it. Just think if you hadn't uh -huh. upgraded that earlier. Just remember, I tried to give it to my Vestal at some point during the <laughs> campaign. <laughs> it's back now where it belongs. All right, so Crusader's next. Oh, Crusader, Crusader. All right, yeah, I'm going to move him in. Slow. Oh, I have my speed stone. You're going to bleed again. Um, um, I can't get in there, man. Just take a walk. Um, if I'm moving back, takes an action, right? It does. And I you can't could. move forward here at the same time. It doesn't matter. No, that wouldn't move you, no. But your Holy Lance is a pull of only one. Gotcha. Right. Oh. But you could set yourself up. I could. You can get one forward and, and step back in the alignment. Okay. This or you can just stay there and beat on anything he summons. I don't know. I'm going to do this. And then scoot back. Nice. And then use a recovery charm. And heal nine. Ooh, doggy. Okay. All right. I think that was worth it. All right. So her turn. She is going to. She's still trying to find the face. So <laughs> crit chance one. Wait a second. Where did I get? Oh, that she just buffed herself. So crit chance two. Yeah. Yo. Accuracy <clears throat> eight. That's a four. So that is another seven damage. She would heal two. She would get the blight stack. Two one fourth for three of rounds. the way there. Actually, for her, it's one less. One fourth of the way there. Mm -hmm. Easy money. And then I'm going to do toxic trickery on the bounty hunter. So you're going to lose all of your blight. Yeah, I'm going to lose all right. of my blight. Nope. And you're going to get a buff of two. And I'm going to get another buff of two. Dang. That's your turn. Keep working up them batches, Uncle Jesse. All right. Woo! Here we go. An antibody. Oh, <laughs> it's like, whoa, there's something attacking me. <laughs> I'm going to summon an antibody with 28 health and some pretty decent damage and stun. 
Now we're gonna Ouch. take that and, and shuffle it in Ouch. with the Vestal. That dude has 28 damage. He now. has 28. He's going to come in. But wait, he. It's his turn, right? So he takes another damage. He does. Another three damage, actually. So. I don't know how many times I can shuffle two cards and forget which one's which, but I think I <laughs> forgot them by now. So, 50 50 chance that I forgot. Oh, there it is. Okay. So the antibody hits. He's going to want to do. He only has one thing stunning secretion, remember? Yep. So he closest. was the closest, which is going to be the Bounty, Bounty Hunter. Yep. And uh, so that is a accuracy 11, but it's uh, minus 3, 8. Minus 4, so. Uh, minus 4. Crits. Oh, because we're. Yeah, Crit 0, one. accuracy. Accuracy 7. seven. 5. Hits. So he does 12 damage. Ouch. And, and one stun. For one turn, but you're resistant to stun. I am. So, just 12 damage. Just 12 damage. Just okay. halfway dead. Yep. And one shot. Okay. Alright, Vestal goes next. She is going to... Oh, you're too far away now. You're so um, far away from me. Can I me. stun this thing? Uh, can, it I is cannot. immune... Uh, no, it's resistant to stun. I cannot. It's resistant to bleed, too. All right, then I am going to... Oh, nothing good. I need to heal you or walk forward. If I walk forward, that thing's going to pummel her. Don't do that. No. I don't need to heal on this side, so I'm just going to cast Judgment. Do it. She's going to do what she has to do. Accuracy is 7. Crit chance, 1. That is a miss. Dang it. I try again. Try again. That is a hit. Got for it. Five damage and heals for three. A wimpy little five damage. But I'll take it. Takes us up to thirty-three. One third. One third, huh? One third. Okay. Here we go. Bounty hunter's next. Bounty hunter. All right. So. Both of these guys have gone now. Nope, we just started a new round. Oh, we just started a new round. You are. Nick your doodle. Okay. Um, this is what I am thinking. Uh oh. Everybody, plug your ears. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Focus him on the gestating heart and work with the grave robber here because I can keep putting bleed on him. Mm hmm. Yeah, you gotta be a range of two. You gotta be a range of two, though. Which is not good for the grave robber. Well, maybe the grave robber needs to come out where you're at. But we've got a little synergy going on here because mm -hmm. I can hit him yeah. from here. You can hit him, and then you can do Toxin Trickery on yourself. But i got to be one space away from you. So. And then on my next turn, I can move back up, hit him again, and I'll have to... Yeah, just let me move out, and we'll, we'll just kind of set okay, up well, a position. Yeah, I get that. One way or another, it's a good, you're right, it's a good combo. So I'm going to... I think I've... we just need to hammer him now, but yeah. But this guy back here, though, mm -hmm. he hits hard. He hits really stinking hard. So I'll go after this guy. I'll go after this guy. I will do. <laughs> it's hard. Man, just knowing what to do, you know? Yeah, I think I'm um, going to... I'll bring her out to here. I think I'm going to bring her out and, and start doing some range stuff. All right, well, I'll, I'm going to hit him with uh, finish him. I'm going to move in there and finish him. And that'll be uh, crit chance two. Yep. Um, accuracy eight. That's a miss. That's your turn. That sucks. Big time. Crusader. No, Grave Robber. 
Grave Robber. Because I moved the Crusader yep. back. Yep, yep. Good call. All right, Grave Robber. So I am going to step back so that we can try to get some of that damage moving. I'm going to step back, and I'm going to use Poison Darts on the big guy. He is He's resistant, so he'll take a little bit less. Mm -hmm. Accuracy is 9, crit chance 4. There's a 1. Yes. That also helps. I don't know. That also helps the Vestal stress. I don't know what's in that toxin that she's drinking. I don't know, but it is, it is flowing. So that's 5 <laughs> damage. Alright. Plus 4 blight for 2 turns, not 3. Okay. And that's her turn. And she takes a and stack. And she takes two heals and a stack of this yeah. for two. Because she's resistant. Okay. Alright. It is his turn. He is it's, going. It's to, his turn? Yep. So he takes seven more damage. Seven damage. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Eat it, pulsating heart. <laughs> Wait, seven more damage? Okay. That is 15 altogether. So I need to do. <laughs> this dude is one bad mamma jam. Oh no. He's going to bring us 45. A... All right. An ascendant brawler. No! <laughs> Dang it. Why can't you just leave us alone? Let us kill you. This guy is he gonna comes come way down, down here at the bottom. Okay, now we have problems. No, we got no. We had problems. <laughs> we now have, we, have we have bigger problems. Now we have bigger problems. Hmm. He doesn't even care. He just sits up there and beats. If, if he's got guys on the board, he doesn't even do nothing. He's mm. gonna watch the show. All right, Crusaders up. Crusader. All right, all right. So, oh boy, this is okay. Grave Robber goes first, but she's not gonna go first. That means Grave. Uh, okay, I, I'm I'm okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> That's what he keeps telling himself. <laughs> <laughs> I bleed for two, and I'm in the right position. So I'm gonna do Holy Lance, uh, which is accuracy only seven, uh, crit chance. Crit chance one. So, oh, nice. It happened. So, okay. I will come in here. That's a, a nine damage. Um, nine damage. So, that can be just nine. That's going to do five. So, so, a ten and a four you can go up there. What's that? Oh, gotcha. I'm just doing the another ten. Calculation, no, I got it. And then a four, you heal for two. I and do. you get one of these beautiful stacks. Okay, that was your first action. Um, and, uh, he's immune to that. So, now I will do... Smite three. Okay, your crit chance is two. Yeah. Crit chance two, accuracy eight. There's a crit. <laughs> Bang. So that's 19 damage. Okay, I'll just take one of these and give you two tens. I got it. I got it right here. Okay. You got lots of tens over here. But I take another stack. Take and I, I heal for two, two more. more. Take another stack. In your face! That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73. Yes. Okay. That crit helped. That crit was massive. Smite three. And you are blighted. So you know. I am super blighted. All right. So the... So I'm going to come up to the <laughs> to the grave robber. Hey, you got it! <laughs> <in? laughs> you got something right here, man. Go away. You got something. Go away. <laughs> All right, he wants to go in. It's the closest, which is the bounty hunter, but he wants to be one space away, so he's going to move there. Mm -hmm. 
and is going to do his stunning secretion at the bounty hunter. Ugh. You're disgusting. Crit chance zero, accuracy seven. Oh. There's a seven. That's 12 more damage. Dang it. I am at death's door. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No. 23. <sighs> 12 plus 12 is 24. Yeah. I only have 23, so wow. I am at death's door. Good thing you're not blinded. I know, right? Holy crap. All right. That would be the Vestal's turn. I think she's going to take this opportunity to do some Divine Grace. Crit chance, 3. Accuracy. All right, that's a 2. Yes. That is 9 health. Sweet. Death's door, blah. Don't bore me such. <laughs> um, and then, so she can either judgment or she can, she's just going to heal him again, I guess. It's not a lot. Mm. Or should she just judgment the big guy? Uh, I, don't, I don't think she needs to be taking any blight. She's the got fewer, 22 health. I know, but the fewer people we have taking Blight, the fewer toxin trickery thingies we got to do. That's true. All right. I'll show you again with Divine Comfort. Same crit chance, three. So that's only four more health. That's all right. Not bad. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Came back from Death Store to... I'm feeling better. All right. Better. Your brawler's up. Oh, my brawler. Mm -hmm. He ain't my brawler. What I didn't claim him. What would he like to do, sir? Uh, what did you roll? I don't know yet. I didn't roll anything. Zero. Zero. Interesting. He's in the end. He doesn't even want to roll. Yeah, he, he is... doesn't care. Yeah. Um, he so he wants to just do it too. Yep. So that's a stumbling, stumbling scratch. <laughs> that sounds horrible. So <laughs> it'll pull him one. But it's against the furthest, and he wants to be one away. So the furthest um, would be the bounty hunter. The grave robber, excuse me. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two. Oh, it actually would be the bounty hunter. Let's see. It's one, one, two, three. Uh-huh. One, two, three. And he's in the front. He's the aggressive. So he has to move two. Which he'd like to do anyways. One, Two. Yeah, this is bad. A stumbling scratch. Well, accuracy, accuracy seven. Not good, so it's only accuracy Actually, four. Three. Three. Because of the torch. Yeah. Accuracy three. Oh, does it have a crit chance? No. no. Zero. Oh my gosh, he just stumbles forward, slaps you for six. I don't like this guy. And falls into your space. I don't like this guy. No. <laughs> I don't like him at all. I can't believe that he did that. I know. That's hilarious. It's only because I rolled the he die. You should roll the die. He does not like to be... I'm not rolling die against your characters. <laughs> ain't gonna happen. He does not like being in that back position, does he? Mm -mm. That's funny. Alright, here we go. Now that pull one, does that also pull him yes, one this way? Yes, it does. That's what I figured. He'll get to the top eventually, but he's going to stumble again. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next round. Wish we had more bleed and blight on that guy. All right, bounty hunter, you're up. Um, who do I smack? Do I go after this guy again? Well, it doesn't matter. They're both... 20, 30, remember, 73. So 27, 27 damage 27 left. damage away. So and those other two will just fizzle into dust. If we can do it. He's going to take seven on his turn. We need 20 damage. So I'm going to go... If you bled him from there, what's that do to him? If I do one, two over here, that's one, two away. I can, I can do two damage and then a stack of three again. Got it. Which means that he'll take... Okay. Ten, 10 on his okay. so that's 12 damage altogether. Accuracy 11, which is 8. Uh, crit chance 2. 
So that hits. So it's just two more damage, which is a five. Two damage and another stack of three. Nice. All right, we'll take it. He's going to go next, and he's going to do nothing but bleed and okay, blight. So, so he's going to take this gets put out here and ten then, damage. Oops. Three, six, ten. Eighty-five. So that's Eighty-five. So fifteen more. Um, that was move. Yeah, go ahead. That was his turn. Crusader. Crusader's turn. So I take four damage. And he needs 15 to die. He needs 15 to die. So smite three is what I got. <laughs> Crit chance of one. Accuracy 11. So eight. Eight. But it's 11, it's not going to kill him. Oh. Crit chance, two. Oh! That's you are holding that bag. No, it's in there. I know, but okay, it's crit chance one, but because he's debuffed, it's crit chance two? Uh-huh. Yes. Where'd the debuff come? Oh, that came from her. Yeah. 19. Right. It's 19 damage. Did he's he die? dead. He died. Boom. He's dead. The heart has exploded. Now here's the thing though. Everything stays. You that take... heals too. Yep. But it gives me another stack of blight. That's correct. Howie. But it was a good crit. Yeah, it was. Okay, so now we chop the gestating heart up to pieces. And it kind of dematerialized and then rematerialized into this abomination, the Heart of Darkness. What and I like to say is I hit it in the face with a pick. It exploded. The face came out. You finally I, found I the found face. face. Stop mining the gestating <laughs> heart. We don't want to find a face. Yeah. So, um, the Heart of Darkness has arrived. All we have to do is destroy it. 250 damage. Yep. To this thing. Yep. And um, we will have saved the Hamlet, but this is a tough customer. Yeah. A super tough customer. Truckloads of damage, a lot of bleed, um, high accuracy, high crits. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he is going to go two times a turn. Two times around. Mm -hmm. And what he's going to do is he's going to tell us what he's going to do next prior to him doing it. So that's what Impending Doom does here. At the start of battle and each time Heart of Darkness finishes an action, roll a 10-sided die and place it next to its card. Next time its turn comes, it'll use the corresponding skill. So it kind of telegraphs to us what it's going to do next turn so we can kind of prepare but I mean, good night. All of the things are zero to ten for range, for range. so we can't run away from it really. Um, dissolution. Now that's zero to ten as well. Yeah, so we really kind of want it to be know this, and if not, we're screwed. So he's going to attack the most crowded room. So we got to watch that. He's going to attack the closest person, or he's going to attack the farthest person. So he's telling us in advance right now. He's going to attack the most crowded room when it's his turn. So that might give us the chance to separate. It might give us the chance to... Oh, well, that's exactly what we need to do. Because if he if there isn't a crowded room... Right. It's not going to happen, right? So if we don't mind, can we keep this guy a little bit closer? So yeah. So I could read that. Yeah, let's flip him around there. I mean, let's... Uh, we can actually... Let me move some trinkets. Maybe I'll get him a little bit yeah. closer yeah, here. Yeah, let's do that. Because this is like... Yeah. The end end. He's the only guy. So, All right, so he's going to attack the most crowded room next. And he gets two activations. So you guys should just stay there. Um, no. <laughs> we would rather him attack 
this guy. <laughs> I don't want to be the grout. I'm All not right. going to be in the grout's room. So bounty hunters first. Okay, bounty hunter so just is don't first. Don't huddle up. Don't huddle up. Okay. <laughs> he okay. is uh He's resistant to debuff and he's immune to okay. stun and push. But he's not immune to bleed. Not immune to anything else. So uh I think that's going to be my opening salvo then because I am two away from him right now. So Caltrips 3. Uh, accuracy 11. What is his dodge? 3. So it's 8. Crit 1. So that's a 3. And I need to stop using that one. But it was a 3. It was the 3 before. Um, so it's a hit. So he takes 2 damage. Oh, I see what you're saying. 2 damage. But he also takes... Wow, you slapped him. I did. He also takes a stack of uh, uh, three bleed for three turns. Okay. All right. Um, second action. Uh, I can move. Where do we want to set up? But that's about all I can do. I don't have any. I can come over here, maybe. That way, I'm still. You can still heal me a little bit if you want, or what have you. But. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Are you going to focus on trying to bleed him? Yeah. I mean, I might as well, right? Yep. Keep keep putting those stacks on him so he bleeds, bleeds, bleeds. Can you mark him at two spaces? Can you debuff him? How much is your debuff? I can. I can, actually. But do you have anything that goes off, goes off of a... Uh, I do. You I do. You have a plus from, four. From marks. Do those stack, by the way? If it's... If... No, you can only mark once. So. No, 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 no. I mean... If he's blighted and marked, would he yes, get both he of those? Seven. Oh, snap. Yeah, so that's we've done that a couple of times. That's what I'll do. Yeah. So mark is the exception to the rule. When you mark, um, you don't get multiple different stacks of marks. It's just the highest stack of a mark. So, right, but he'll still get the extra yeah, he'll damage. he'll still take the extra damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so accuracy 10, so it's accuracy 7. That is a hit. So I get buffed for two turns, and then he gets targeted for three and he is resistant, resistant to, debuff. to to buff, so he only gets one. And he gets one debuff, and he gets marked for three turns. Yes. Okay. Might as well. All right. Crusader's next. Crusader. He is right next door. Accuse him. It's been so long since you've used your scroll to great effect. <laughs> I would like to. <laughs> Not to great effect, though. Not to great effect, however. Yeah. So, um, he is Eldritch, I believe. Not Unholy. He is Eldritch. He is Cosmic. Cosmic. Look at that. That's Come even on. worse. Come on. I think I'm just gonna... Um, that would make him... If I move in there, that would make it a crowded room? Or is it crowded only... No, crowded only us. with us. Yeah. So if I go in there, it won't, won't uh, put me in the front line or anything. Okay, smite three. Accuracy eight, crit one. Oh, crap. There you go. <laughs> Take six damage. Six damage from that stupid pulsating heart. Well, this guy's not blighting us. Oh, yeah, you can. Never mind. Shh. I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's a miss. That's a miss, yeah. This dude has some dodge. So, yeah, he does. That's it. So, accuracy 11, that's my second turn, yeah. Okay. Second action. It's his turn, so we didn't get a split. <coughs> He's going to attack the most crowded room. Crap! Crit chance, 1. Accuracy, 12. So, we have this, so... It's nine and eight. Let's roll ten, ten, ten. Oh. Or you can just hit them both. Both of them. For two damage. For two damage. Or plus three stress each. And we go down. So we knock down the torch. Yep. Three stress each. Yep. That's not that bad. I don't know. But he does need to roll again. Because it's at the end yep. of the end. end of his turn. He's going to tell us what he's doing Six. next. So next time he is going to attack the closest. Crap. 
with a bleed. That's all right. I'll move away. Okay. It's still going to be me, though, probably. All right, Grave Robber's turn. Down. Range of one. <laughs> She's going to take two damage here. She's going to get a plus one to attack for this. So she's going to take two damage from the Blight. Um, and I'm going to go straight to Poison Dart. Accuracy 9. Crit chance 2. Oh, 3. <coughs> Sorry. 4. Alright, so I hit with the Dart. And now I'm going to throw a Dagger. Accuracy is 8. Crit chance 3. Yes! That is a crit. Yes! Both of these will go down one. That is 19 damage. Oof. Yep, 19 damage. Golly. So it's a 24. It's a 24? Yep. All right, I got it. Okay. Dang. All right, eat this dagger. Yeah. <laughs> to I the have, hilt, man. I've been practicing, man. All right, well, it's his turn. He is going to attack the closest. But he's going to take seven more damage first. He's going to take seven damage first. So. Nice. Dang. That started going up quick, dude. We're pretty <clears> tough. <throat> we're, not, we're not slouches, but let's see how he does with his um, oh, the no. puncture against the Crusader. Puncture. All right. Crit chance two. Good chance to accuracy nine. Oh, accuracy ten. Good chance three. Accuracy ten. Um, uh, I'm gonna take two stress. No, I can't. It's not my turn. Never mind. No, oh, yeah, copy that. Okay, so that's a hit. Yep. For fourteen damage. Oh dear. That's 15. Six and give you 20. Nine to 20. <laughs> that escalates quickly. Oh. Alright, 14 damage. It's going to get worse. One stress and three bleed for three turns. I should have taken that blight off. I like some of that toxin trickery, man. Well, we're in trouble. Why three didn't you bleed? tell me that before? Three bleed for how much? For three? Three turns. That means on your next turn, you're going to take nine damage. Which is going to put me at death's door. Well, crap. Because I'm at 22. No, I'm sorry. I won't be at death's door. I'll be at 31 of 32. Nice. <clears throat> um, I might heal you. We'll you keep see. using that word. I see. The nice word? Yeah. It's got us this far. <laughs> <laughs> right. he, he's going to attack the most crowded room again next. Okay. And it's the Vestal's turn. Move, Vestal. Move. I don't, I don't think she can. Everybody, move. move. Yeah, exactly. All right. So first thing she's going to do is Divine Grace. On you, sir. On the... On the Crusader. Crusader? Um, crit chance, four. I allow you to crit on me. It's okay. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for allowing me. You're welcome. So that's just seven health. Oh. Just seven? So if I take off twelve... How am I push the guy? I can't push the grave robber before you. Then I can put just I five. really, really should have helped you before. When I did the Grave Robber's two attacks. We got damage, but we should have. Alright. <clears throat> so, on that note. It, it'll be okay. I'm, I'm saying it'll be okay. It can be debuffed. Or I can just heal you again. Probably just should heal you again. Sure. Alright, I'm going to do I will my not. comfort. Comfort. Excuse me. Crit chance four. It's a six. No good. So that's four more health. Four more? And two from her. Yep. We're good. That's what I can do. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Dang. This dude is nasty. Yeah. 
<clears throat> I should have done. I really should have yelled that blight off of you last time. That's okay. It's gonna go away in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna run out eventually. As the Crusaders comes dripping, you know, like, like State Buff Marshmallow Man just blew up on him with green goo. I don't know if that works or not. Oof. All right. Well, next time I got you covered. All right, Bounty Hunter's turn. Bounty Hunter. And we do have bandages for the bleed, but... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, Bounty Hunter is going to... Mm. He's marked already, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, do I put another stack of three on him? Did he take... He should have taken a mark off. Yeah. Should I put another stack of three on him? Yeah. Caltrops. Might as well at that range. Yeah. Unless you're going to get in close and personal. Up close and personal. <clears throat> I could. But that'll that'll make this the most... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was almost <clears throat> beneficial to keep these two together so that that Crusader doesn't so take what so I many hits. I think I'm going to do um, instead is I'll come one, two over here. And do finish him at a range of one. And that'll just add some more damage to him. So accuracy... <clears throat> accuracy eight, crit two, three, four. Four because of the debuff, yeah. That's a crit. That works. Lady. That's a crit. That's 16 more damage. Nice. I got it <clears throat> this time. Okay. We're whittling him down. I think yeah. we have won. I don't think so. <laughs> um, All right, Crusader's next. Crusader. First thing he'd like to do is take nine damage. <clears throat> he doesn't like to do that. <laughs> so that is three, five, seven, nine. See? It's going away. Mm -hmm. You look better already. All right. Um... <clears throat> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I'm going to do two stress to turn my recovery charm back up. Mm, let's see. All right. We're going to do uh, smite three, um, which is accuracy eight. Crit. Three. Three. So he hits. That's 11 damage. Okay. Straight up 11 will work. What did you do? Put some fives out there? I did. Oh, I don't have any tens left, man. Broken. Alright. Um, so that's a smite three, and then I'll do a stunning blow, which will be accuracy eight, crit chance three as well. So nice. That's another ten. Another ten. And he is immune to his stun, so. Okay. So that was 21 damage. Not bad, if I do so say about this case for myself. I don't know if you're even talking English, so whatever. We'll see. That was nice. That was very nice. All right, here we go. It's his turn. And he wants to do know this. Against these two again. Mm -hmm. Crit chance. So before he does that, he will take seven damage. Seven damage. I got it. He loses debuff. Lose a mark. He got seven damage. He's gonna do a no this. Crit chance two. Accuracy twelve. Let's see where how close we get. Well, look at that. So accuracy twelve minus two is ten. Oh, never mind. Hits them both. Because we don't have the dodge anymore. Mm -hmm. So, they each take three stress. So, she is this time going to flip down. over. That goes down one more. Yep. And I'm going to roll this on a one or a two. I get a virtue. Hey, hey. Look at that. The virtue is Vestal. That's the way it goes. We hope. She is stalwart. 
She does not want to take stress. She's going to fight against it. Okay. That was his attack. So next turn, he is going to attack them again. Or the most crowded space. Really? Yep. That's kind of the one we want him did to I keep do, doing, <laughs> frankly. I did three there. Did I do three there? <clears throat> did she crit last time? She didn't crit last time. Where was she at? I missed that three. I did her three. Yeah. I don't think I did her three. Okay. If I did, I just made it worse. Yep. All right. Grave robber's turn. Grave robber is going to part the seas. Part the seas? Yeah, nope. First, I'm going to throw a dagger. Well, first, I'm going to take two blight. And then I'm going to throw a dagger. He's marked and blighted still. So, crit chance, three. Accuracy, eight. Ooh, close. That is 14 oh, damage. 14 damage? I, um... Oh, I did take that up. You did? Yes. Because it was a 2. Because remember, I got a crit last time. You got a 10 or whatever. I'm pretty sure I took that up. Otherwise, I cheat. I'm pretty sure I took that up. Man. 14 no, damage. Hold, hold, hold. We got, we got to do some... We got to do some... Uh, do some math? Do some stuff here. So All right. We got the 10 out of the 14. So here's the 14. And if we add 1 to that, it's a 5. <laughs> so... Then if we then take this out, we get a ten, and then we got this, and what is that's, going on that's over as here? As far as we can go, all right. That's as far as we can go. That's just what we got. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighty, eighty-nine damage on them right now. Okay. So then I am going to. I'm going to help you. Right? Should I? Yes. Does it remove both? It removes both. It yeah. removes both. It removes all of them and it gives you a buff for two. That will be awesome. Thank you, sir. And then I'll give her a buff for two. Your name shall be remembered. Alright. By me. By somebody. Alright, it's his turn. <clears throat> so he is going to attack them again. He's going to take seven more damage, though. He's going to take seven more damage. So can you put a ten on there? This is not. I can. This is not conducive to my sanity. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I better hit first. Better roll. I guess I can't miss. Okay, so that was one, two, three, one, two, three. Y'all need to split up. Maybe. I'm just saying. Accuracy damage two. See, I didn't even do the damage last round either. Damage four. What was I thinking? Yeah, I don't think you were. I don't think I was either. All right. So that that and this goes down. So he. So every time we take a stress, we take an extra stress. That's not good. Nope. You need to get your flashlight out, Vestal. All right, I will. And by getting my flashlight out, I am going to I'll light him up. Well, who do I need to heal? Everybody. Uh um, uh well. She needs to move, right? So we don't want to be the most crowded. Although yes, she does need to move. If we and don't. I think you know the Crusader is good. I think if I, I think you could uh, take a round, you think illuminating would be the best thing. I think move. Well, too. we got lots of torches too, so we can use those torches to illuminate. Okay. I'm gonna roll this for my stalwart first. Look at that. There's yeah. Two back. I don't know if I want to illuminate and debuff, or if I want to move. Um, he wasted a move. Mm -hmm. And then I got to heal him. Sure. It's okay. fine with me. All right, I'm gonna heal him. Got okay, chance three. Oh, well, first of all, we're gonna burn two of these. Got okay, chance four. That's what I meant. That is a crit, so this will go down one more. He heals nine. He heals nine. Nine out of sixteen is five. Yep. 
Okay, and that's her turn. So the stalwart worked. The reason the light up would have done the same, so. We are family. Two, four, six, <laughs> 96. Right. We're at nine. We ain't even halfway there yet. We're doing good. We're just a little hurt and stressed. Nervous. Uh, nervous. I don't know, bro. I don't know how All right. gonna work out here. Okay. All right, Bounty Hunter, your turn. <clears throat> Bounty Hunter. I think we're going to hit him up with a mark for death. So he doesn't run out of that first. So accuracy seven. seven. That's nice. good. So that gives me a buff for two turns. Mark for gets three. Rid of this and marks him for three, right. You gives you a I, buff I, for two turns? Yeah, it gives him a buff for two turns. And then it, it, it and debuffs, debuffs for him two. for for two. But it's resistant, so only one. one. And then I will do a uh, a finish him. Yeah. That is a crit, sir. That is a crit. So that's 16 more damage. So. Alright. <clears throat> So his 16, where does that put him at? Well, he was at 96, so that should be 10, uh, 96 plus 16, that's well, 102, 112. 112. So, we're going to remember he's at that, because we're going to need these. He, no, I get you. He's at 112 right so now. he's at 112, okay. Yeah. Got it, got it. Right on. So he's marked, and you just thumped him. I did. Okay. Finish him. I can't, but I'll try. <laughs> okay. So he is going to go against the most crowded room. There isn't a most crowded room, so he's going to go against the bounty hunter instead. Okay. So accuracy is nine. Yep. Crit chance two. Hits. All right, so that's two damage. Torch is going to go down one. Three. Stress. Three stress. Yep. And he's going to lose one of these and one of those. Who's that? No, oh, he doesn't. Oh, he's no. He's going to go against the furthest this time, which is technically the bounty hunter again. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, Crusader's up. Crusader. Crusader. All right, I'm just gonna keep pounding away here. Um, Get him. We're going to do. Um, I'm gonna do accuracy minus two here, so I can flip that back over, and then. Um, so that's going to give me <clears throat> for my stunning blow a nine six accuracy. Crit, one, and that's it. Two. Two. Three. Oh, because of this, yes. Three. So, right crit, crit three, uh, accuracy minus uh, accuracy six. <clears throat> nice. That's a crit. What that is that is one? That is a crit. Stunning blow is just ten. But I did it on this one because it has the least amount of damage. So mm -hmm. I can try to get this crit plus four on this oh, guy. Oh, gotcha. Right on. So it's 19 damage. So, but, hey, crit 10. Crit 10. I'll take it. 22. And then uh, we'll do smite three, which is going to be accuracy one, two, three, plus four. No, wait. I can't do that, can I? Because well, I already used it. This I round. use minus yep. two, so I can't. Ah, okay. Well, next round. Anyway. Nope. All right. Uh, so it's uh, th crit three, uh, accuracy eight. That's <laughs> that is, that the is most definitely cocked dice that we've seen. <laughs> All right. So All it's right, just a hit. It. So, but it's still eleven damage. I got it. Thank. <clears throat> nice. Another twenty-one. So he has passed. Past the halfway mark. The halfway now, right? mark. 
So it's 133. 133. Nicely done. It's his turn. So he wants to attack the the bounty hunter. Okay. Crit chance three. Accuracy nine. That is a hit. So that is fourteen damage. Oh. <laughs> so you want twenty? No, it's good. Uh, is that how much? Twenty one. Yep. Yeah, it would be twenty one. Wouldn't it? Yeah, just give me. No, no, no. I, I got. I got the. I'll start using the singles over here. So I need 21, huh? Yep. All right. So that's 15, 16, 17. That's a stun for one turn, but you're immune to, or you're resistant to stun. And that is three blight for three turns. Wait a minute. I'm at 21. I'm two, two away. You're two away. From death store. And you three blight for three turns. <coughs> Alright. Wonderful. So oh, what's he gonna do next? We might want to get the bounty hunter out of his line of sight. Mm -hmm. Um he's gonna want to attack the closest. So he's, he's out of line going of after him next. Right. Okay. So for her. Man alive. <laughs> this guy's tough. Man. And I can't take the bleed off of you, the blight <coughs> off of you. I mean, I could. I could move down to take it off of you. Is it worth moving to take off that blight? The blight will or put me I... at death's door. I know. And he's I going can, to I attack you here next. Bunch. So I think we have one turn of, of wiggle room there. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him with a poison dart. Crit chance four. In fact, let's use one of these while we're here. Just to bring that up a little bit. Crit chance four, accuracy nine. That is a crit. Yes. So that's five damage. And he gets his blight stack back. And then crit chance four for throw dagger. He's marked and blighted. Dang it. So that is 14 more damage. Hmm, I can actually do that. And that. Take those two fives away, yeah. Yep. <coughs> All right. That's 52. 152? 152. So we're less than a hundred away now. We are. We Nobody's made. died yet. He's getting close. He's got close. Both of my dudes are close. All right. Vestal's turn. She is going to roll for Stalwart. No good this time. And then she is going to heal the gentleman there Bounty hunter. with Divine Grace. That's what I'm talking about. For nine. Does tempted to just to debuff him. But you're at twenty, and but you're not, we're good. Not bunched up. We're, we're good. Crusader's gonna get popped next, and he's at he's got twelve. Um, okay. He'll be taken to death's door if he gets hit. But <clears throat> can I can I stop him if so? Death's door will get him. He's going to take a minimum of 12 if he gets hit. 12 will put him at death's door. So minimum if, I heal, 12. if I heal him once... Minimum 14. What are you looking at? That 12 damage? Oh, 14 damage. Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, I was just seeing if I heal you once, that'll save you from being at death's door. True. Yes. So I will go ahead and divine comfort just for that little bit of safety net. That is a crit chance. Four. Okay, so that's five health and four for her. Okay. Okie dokie. We are micromanaging the crap out of this. <laughs> we are. But it is working thus far. 
surviving, we're healing, we're I feel like our detoxing. team is being held together by toothpicks and rubber bands. It's working. But it's working so far. Yep. Uh. All right. His turn. All right, bring it. He's going to take four damage. Four damage? I got it. Okay. And he is going to attack Crusader. Crit chance three. Accuracy t 10. Accuracy 10? Yep. So he's going to hit anyway. Yep. I can't use this on... Minus one dodge? Yeah. Sure. Minus one dodge. Accuracy is 11 now. So... Crit chance three. Oh! You throw the dice. It doesn't work. He, he missed! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's a hit. So that is 14 damage. One stress. And three bleed for three turns. Right, so I've got 29. Three bleed for three turns, one stress. Yep. And nope. He's going to go again. We don't know what he's going to do, though. He is going to attack the closest. He's going to attack the Crusader. Again. Again. This is bad. So, accuracy is 10. <laughs> accuracy is 10, crit chance 3. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. Was dry. That is a crit. <laughs> I told you. Okay, so well, he's just going to take me to... So you're going to take 2 stress. 1, 2. Yep, he's going to take you to death's door. Um, so you need a 3 stack of bleed. 3... Here's a 30. Here's uh, a 10. Hold, hold on. No, I don't need a 10. Save it for that, dude. 32. And I'm at death's door. Yep, and you get another 3 stack of bleed. Oh, boy. 3 stack. Of 3. <clears throat> so, how does the bounty hunter push the grave robber in front of you? I don't think that's possible. Mm -mm. Man, oh man. All right. I'm going to roll. Bounty, you are going to roll. All right, Bounty Hunter's turn. Yep. Oh. People might be right. This might be adding a little bit of gray. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so three blights. Um. Okay, uh, we're just going to continue on. Take your three damage. Will you stop telling me to do that? I'm just uh, reminding you. Kindly reminding you. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Eight hit points. Fourteen, there. thank you very much. Oh, Fourteen, sorry. All right, so mark for death first. Accuracy seven. Missed. Oh, so we're just gonna go for finish him, get some more damage. Uh, accuracy eight, uh, crit two. That's a crit. Because of that. Yes. So sixteen more damage. We we'll finish him. So sixteen, twenty-two, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy-two. <laughs> He's 78 damage away from going downtown. Mm-hmm. All right, that was your turn. That is my turn. Oh, I don't want to flip the next card, because guess who I know it's the Crusader. <laughs> All right, so you're going to take your six damage. Yeah. Which yep. makes me roll the dice. Which makes you roll the dice. Here we go. Bye. Don't Bye. do it, man. This we made it so Bye. far. Drove my Chevy Woo! to the levee, but the levee wasn't dry. All right. All right, here we go. Um, so, um... <laughs> so you can eat, you can eat, you can take one of those. Clear off one, your bleed. Clear off the bleed, yeah. All of it? Yep. Or just one stack? All of it. Okay. All right, um, 
And then I'm going to smack him with a shovel. Smite three. Um, I'm not even gonna heal. He's just like screw this. Smite I'm going three. There you crit go. Crit six. Crit six. One. Didn't even freaking didn't need, need to use the card. All right, so that's uh, 19 damage. And one stress relief. And one stress relief, yeah. And then I know it's cheesy, but I'm going to use my second action to battle heal. Um, accuracy 14, crit 3. That's crit. So we'll take 5 off. And another stress relief. And another stress relief. What did we? We don't even know what he's doing next, do we? No. He's going against the most crowded. Which will be the bounty hunter. Mm. So what do we need to do? Um, well, he's at fifth. He's at fifteen. Did I just say fourteen? No, he's at fifteen. So this will be eighteen. So he'll have five five damage. So he's gonna do fourteen with his next yeah, hit. He's gonna. That'll make me roll for him. So do I go after him and try to do damage? Or do I try to come over there and spend my whole turn? Oh, I'm just going to heal you up. I'm going to have to take... Do I want to take that blight off is the point. I can walk over and take the blight off or she can just attack him twice. Uh, he's going to go Best after the crowded? Best to heal you twice. He's going to go after the most crowded? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the little wimpy attack, though. It's only two damage. It is only two damage. Yes, you're right. So, smack yep. him. All right. Yep, good call. All right, I'm going to throw poison dart. Crit chance, four. Accuracy, nine. That yes. is a crit. So that's five more damage. And another stack of Z's. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then crit chance four with the throw dagger. Accuracy eight. <laughs> Another crit. And he's not marked though. No. So Fifteen damage. Still. We'll take it all day long. Oh, got rid of that one. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. He's 11 damage into his last 50. Hmm. There he is. Hmm. All right, Vestal's turn. So she's going to heal him. Divine Grace. Good chance four. Once oh, she's going to roll Stalwart, she doesn't need it. Her stress is done. Oh, that's not the right dice. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> she gives up. Ow. That's perfect. Oh Alright, so that's seven heals for him. <laughs> Speechless as you, I was like, what? <laughs> Don't roll that one, please. No, that's seven heals. Seven on seven. who? On the bounty hunter. Ooh. And I'll do it again with Divine Comfort. Darn it. And that's four more. Four so more. Eleven total. Alright. Cool. Okay, that was her turn. Feeling much better. I'd like to go for a walk. You know, people were asking that question. I wonder if you can make it without a dedicated healer. Yeah, I think so. Really? And, yeah, and you got guys like the occultists that are decent at healing, and they yeah. have other stuff going on. I mean, there's. She's not the only healer. No, I know that. I, I wasn't um, talking about just. You, make, you, you always like have to take the vessel, but can you make it without a dedicated healer? Uh, I, I don't you, know that you can. I think you can. Really? Yeah. Man, Some how many times she shaved our really butts, cool though, man? Things. The jester with all of his buffs and everything else. I don't know. Mm. You. I mean, you need a little bit of healing. You can't do it without. Right. With no healing, you would be toast. You, I mean, because we've got basically three different kinds of healers. 
I've got a you know a wimpy healer with a crusader. You've got your toxin trickery with the uh, this is yeah, with the grave sense. robber and the vestal. I don't. I mean, but I there's think, lots of other things like that on sure. the occultist on the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, I I understand what's that. What's the other dude? I can't think of his name. The one with the like the old medicine doctor guy. Oh, plague doctor. Plague doctor. Mm -hmm. No, I get that. I get that. I'm just saying. Um, I guarantee we're gonna try it without the vestal. Oh, so. Sure, I get you. And like I said, if you want to make it hard, you don't make it out of the first dungeon, <laughs> and you'll die. You have the answer. All right, it's his turn. Oh, here he goes. All right, he's gonna attack me again, isn't Crit he? chance two. He's gonna take eight damage. Eight. Read him and weep, buddy. Give <laughs> him nineteen. Yep. And he's gonna attack you. Crit chance two. Accuracy nine. Yeah, that's two damage, three stress, and the torch drops down. It's also been nice having these torches, because otherwise we'd be fighting that thing down towards zero. Yeah, you got it. We rolled a lot of torches. All right, Bounty Hunter's turn. Bounty Hunter gets to strike back. So we'll try to... We'll take three more damage and yep. lose a boost. All right, so crit chance. Well, there's no crit chance. Hey, I'm I'm doing mark for death again. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a seven, and it was. So he gets a stack of uh, three targets and one debuff, and then I get a buff of two. And then we'll do uh, finish him. <clears throat> yeah. That's, That's a crit. crit. Doesn't even matter. 16 damage. 16. Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4. 35. I'm waiting for everything to go wrong. And that's the beginning oh, of the end. We didn't right see what he was going to do. Not like we cared, did we? Ten. It's He's going to go furthest. against the furthest. Which is still me. You or the Vesta could take it. Huh? The Vesta could take it. Oh, no, she, it's still no. you. Yeah, she can't no, it's just still take me. It. I just yep. can't take it. All right. Crit chance three, accuracy nine. That's a hit. 14 damage. All right, so 14, 19. Oh, 23? 20. 21, 22, 23. At Death's Door. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, three Blight for 15, enough turns to kill you. 20. One, two, three. So, Death's Door. Hmm. And you got three more Blight, too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And you take a stress. The hits just keep on coming. All right. It is Crusader's turn. Crusader. Okay, you can end it right now, dude. 15 damage. 15 damage. All right, we're using the recovery charm just in case. Nice. So. Healing up. It would definitely be worth exploring trinkets further. <clears throat> yep. Um, smite three. It's going to be crit one, two, three, four. Four. Well, okay, it's just still eleven damage. What's your accuracy? 11. Okay, 8. Yeah. Nice. 11 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, 46. Stunning blow. Crit 1, 2, 3. Accuracy 8. It's a crit. 10 That's damage. The end. He is dead. He's dead. Dead. D E D. <laughs> I didn't even 
didn't know anything was going on. <sighs> Chilling over here in the corner. A little bit crazy. But... Goodness gracious. <laughs> that was a battle. Man, was it ever. Over. Yeah. I think I might play the end of uh, Return of the Jedi <laughs> with everybody dancing on all of the different. Nice. And the Ewoks. Oh, yeah, and the Ewoks. <laughs> all right, I'll be good. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty good. The, I, I mean, again, I, I can almost, with nobody dying, I, I, I was certain somebody would die. Yeah. Um, I, I can almost hear the, 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 the keyboards going right now that this is too easy. You can make it harder. I don't, well, see, you here's the thing. so many things. I don't think this was it's not easy. That easy. No, it's not. I don't think this was easy at all. If we did a couple of things wrong, mm -hmm. we're dead. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, and we made mistakes. We made, yeah. But. Yeah, it's not that easy. I mean, it's not. And now. I mean, I could have rolled this for the Crusader. He's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, I could have whiffed. Well, no, those those last two hits don't even happen. And now I have to roll for him. Oh, oh yeah. wow, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, we're like a, a hair's breadth away from, from death on both of my characters. Yeah. And without these two guys, these two guys have a serious road ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, she does her a truckload 19. of damage. Yeah, but her 19 hit points is max. 19. Sure. Yeah. So, no, yeah. no, it's... I don't think so. And it's just... The different combinations of people you can mm -hmm. have, the different monsters you can run into, the, mm -hmm. like, it, can, it can go any which way. And it can go south pretty quick. You can go south very quick. I mean, anytime you roll this dice, mm -hmm. you have a 70% uh, seventy percent chance of being okay. 30% chance of dying. 30% you're done. So, every time you roll that dice, it's a, it's a, it's a 3 in 10 chance. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't seem like much, but oh my goodness, does that... <laughs> it's, that it's enough to make you, you pucker up. Yeah. <laughs> pucker up is right. It is enough to make you pucker up because you don't want to lose the character you just went through nine dungeons with or that whatever. That is correct. Right. That is correct. Well, that is that. We have finished the journey through the darkest dungeon. The Hamlet has been uh, released from the blight at least caused by this little nasty bugger right here, the heart of darkness. So he is toast. Um, I would not be doing that with a mini, by the way. Um, but a cardboard standy, we'll we'll try it out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get out of here because we just got it. Uh, I'm Sam. JT. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We'll we'll uh, be letting you know what game we're gonna be starting up next. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. For sure. Yeah. It's been real fun. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye bye. I beg you, deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadow of the darkest dungeon.